What's up everybody? Today we are talking about one of my favorite non-stim pre-workouts, Big Boy. Now Big Boy is from Ballistic Labs and like I mentioned it's a non-stim pre-workout. So this is a great pre-workout for people who either work out at night uh, or you have a lot of caffeine or over the course of the day so they don't want to have any more extra caffeine into their system. Uh, maybe they're just looking to avoid it because of personal preferences, something like that. This is good for people who are looking for a pre-workout that doesn't have anything that's going to give them that stim based rush. Uh, so this is basically uh, a, a product that's going to provide you with the ability to get a good workout through other means. Usually with non stim pre-workouts they either use some sort of vitamin complex to try to give you energy or they're going to try to circumnavigate that entirely and just go for something else like pump and that's what this one is it's looking to give you the most amazing pump as the name would sort of suggest here so uh, let's talk a little bit about this product and uh, give you an idea as to what I like about it and what you know maybe I have critical to say about this product now let's start off with the badges on the side of the bottle. So if you look to the side of the bottle, just to the left of uh, the initial logo here on the front, you'll see a bunch of badges on the side here. So uh, starting at the top here, the CGMP, uh, that's just uh, a badge to signify that they actually hold to the certified good manufacturing practices, which means that the manufacturing practices they use in making this product are all on the level, are all to code. And so you can kind of rely on this being a well-made product that they're making sure that they take all the time necessary to make sure that the product is high quality pure and you know there's a lot of safety guidelines in place to make sure that you know all the care that is needed to be taken in producing this is taken the second batch here that is the crystal clear dye free batch. So that one is just letting you know that they don't use any dyes in the production of this product. And I believe they have it for all of their products, which I won't lie is something that I actually do value. I, if it, it's one of those things that I consider to be a filler in products. I mean, I don't need it to be red to know that it works, nor do I need it to be red for any other purpose. It's an absolutely useless concept to me. So take that out. I don't want to pay for it. I don't want to see it. I don't need it in my body really. I'm not sure if there's any science to say that it is good or bad, but really I don't care because if it's completely unnecessary, there's no point in putting it in and testing fate, so to speak. So I really like the fact that they go through the uh, effort to make sure that all of their products are dye free. There's no need for it. Let's not add it. And I do like that. That's really solid of them. Uh, the next badge here is the Be Vegan badge. Now this basically means that any of the aminos that are in their product are from fermented sources so uh, that means a uh, it's going to be vegan which is great and b it'll be bioavailable good and easy to absorb for your body which is nice uh, so that's something that's great for anybody who happens to be in the vegan crowd that means this product is going to likely be something that you can easily pick up off the shelf take and not have to worry about which is fantastic it means it can appeal to a much wider crowd so all you vegan lifters out there this is not a bad product for you might want to come looking um, now the next one on the list the flavor punch. Now this one uh, is pretty interesting. Uh, I've, I've spoken with uh, Bert, uh, the, one of the, uh, the reps there and the guy who I believe does a lot of work in helping bring these products to market, uh, especially when it comes to the ingredients in them. Uh, and he uh, mentioned that this flavor punch has to do with the fact that when it comes to making their flavors, they actually mix the flavors in house and then send it out to be made, which means that the flavors you're getting from these guys are unique very specific and particular to this company and you're not going to be able to find them somewhere else. Uh, they also go through a, a pretty painstaking process to make sure that their flavorings last really long. So what you mix up in the morning is going to taste the same, you know, hours down the line. Um, I'm not sure about days down the line. I don't really want to test that theory, but it'd be worth an interesting to test maybe in the future. If you guys are interested in that, you know what to do. Comment section. Let me know. Anyhow, moving on. Uh, the last one on here is the top dose. Now, top dose is probably the one that is the most, whoops, the most important to me. Now, top dose, what that really means is that they are making sure that all of the ingredients inside of this product are clinically dosed. So they're putting in the top necessary dose to see the effects of that product or that ingredient 
in the individual who's taking it, which is fantastic. It means that when we're actually taking this at the dosages that they suggest uh, via the nutrition label, we are getting from it the actual clinical dosing of the ingredients so that we can actually get the benefits from it uh, as far as the research is concerned, which is fantastic. So uh, that's a very actually solid segue to the nutrition label. The nutrition label is a pretty small one, as you'll probably notice. Uh, if you look in here, you're actually only going to see uh, a very small handful of ingredients. So we really only have one, two, three, four. That's it. That's four ingredients. Now, for those of you who, you know, usually you see a laundry list of ingredients, this might be kind of shocking. But one thing worth mentioning when we're talking about, you know, the ingredients list here, it's likely far preferable to have this number of ingredients versus that laundry list one of the reasons being that when you have a laundry list of ingredients i mean the scoop is not going to get that much bigger which means you're going to be compromising the amount of each ingredient that's in there and like we mentioned when we we're talking about the top dose this is looking to have clinical dosing for all the ingredients that they have in here which means we're not going to be worried about you know having too little of any of these ingredients in here uh, and so what we put in here we want to make it count so you only put in a few in uh, just putting a couple of these ingredients in allow you the ability to have a full dosage without compromising on any of them uh, and of course you eliminate the fillers too because there's no dyes and so you can have a relatively small scoop that still has a really effective dosage for all your ingredients so you're really going to get your money's worth with each dose to this so uh, let's take a look and go through some of these so uh, when we're looking at the ingredients here uh, we have l-citrulline glycerol so glycerol um, agmatine sulfate and black ginger now um, some of you are probably familiar with some of these because they're pretty standard ingredients in especially non-stim pre-workouts but you can find them in a lot of other pre-workouts as well um, so the l-citrulline the agmatine sulfate to a degree, uh, and the gl glycerol here, so the glycerol. So when we're talking about these three ingredients, L-citrulline and agmatine sulfate, uh, their major purpose here, something that they're going to be really responsible for is uh, nitric oxide production. So these are going to help uh, stimulate increased like nitric oxide production, which will help with vasodilation. So that expansion of blood vessels that you know you know when you look in really vascular for the most part that that's very much what that's going to help you do um, it's also going to help increase blood flow which is going to help with uh, general performance and also that feeling of pump that you get during your workout that swole feeling when like you feel like you know a muscle is filled to bursting that's that's part of what helps allow that to happen um, now, uh, the glycer swole, so the glycerol, that one is something that maybe not a lot of people know about. So, uh, glycerol actually functions as a osmolite. So, essentially what it does, and I'm being very simple here, so don't go crucifying me in the comments over this one. But, very basically, what it does is it actually gets into the, the body and then brings water towards itself uh, into the uh, um, intracellular fluid uh, so what you're going to get is water coming out of the tissue into the intracellular fluid uh, which is going to it actually has an interesting benefit uh, from the research that shows that it's improved uh, the performance of athletes in hot weather. Uh, so it basically is causing hyperhydration. That hyperhydration allows an individual to reduce urination and sweating, uh, retain more of their water in the muscles and in the tissues or in, in the body, which will keep them hydrated for longer, allowing them to perform optimally for a longer period of time because that dehydration compromises the effect of the individual uh, during a workout, or I should say the performance of an individual during a workout. So there's some benefit there, but there's also a benefit from that feeling of the pump that I was mentioning. So we have the nitric oxide production being upregulated. So we have some more nitric oxide the body's producing, causing that vasodilation. Then we have that sort of osmo osmotic effect happening from the, the glycerol, which is then going to pull a bunch of water in. So the pump effect is going to be intense. And I got to say, as someone who favors this particular product, the pump is real, guys. The, the pump is, is dope. It's fantastic. I love, I love the pump I get off this particular product. It is fan tick so uh, if there's one reason I could recommend it it's that alone now uh, the last ingredient worth really mentioning here is the black ginger so black ginger has been shown to actually have some significant benefits when it comes to athletic performance. Uh, I took some a look into this myself because, of course, I love to research these sorts of things. And that research has uh, found that uh, the this particular black ginger, the ingredient in black ginger, uh, improves physical fitness performance and muscular endurance. Uh, it was a research paper 
published in 2016, uh, actually, uh, where I found that. Now, of course, uh, I will be putting all of the references to things that I mentioned and talk about in the description below the video. So just head below the video. Uh, you'll find all my references so you guys can look this stuff up for yourself because, again, be informed helps makes you a lot stronger and more prepared as an athlete as a lifter you know as as a recreational lifter uh, so good to know so you guys can educate yourselves as well uh, and so really out of this ingredient list we have improved performance we have from two ingredients so the glycerous wool is going to help with performance as well as that pumping feeling uh, the black ginger great for the performance aspect of your workout and then the citrulline and the art uh, the agbutene sulfate are going to help significantly with that uh, vasodilation uh, which is coming from the uh, nitric oxide production and you're going to have that really nice like open vein swole feeling coming from this product so uh, you can kind of see what they were going for when they're talking about when they're making this product and why big boy is the name they pick for it as far as i know that name might change in the future if it does i'm not sure what i'm going to do about the name of this this video whatever cross that bridge when we get there um so uh just to kind of wrap this up uh one thing that i actually it was the first thing i noticed when i very when i first saw this product was actually this little line right here so if you can read it it says uh blah 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 mix one scoop yada 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 uh ballistic big boy should only be used on training days or days you're active yeah yeah so when we're talking vasodilation when we're talking you know the opening of blood vessels when we're talking increased blood flow can you do the math I don't think I can I don't think I can draw the line for you perfectly on YouTube, but I think you can do the math on that one, can't you? Uh, the basic idea being that it's got multiple applications. Uh, so, big boy, not just for in the gym, maybe for the bedroom as well, you know, between the sheets. So, guys, it's got another application. That brings us pretty much to the end of this video. Uh, as far as what I think of this product, if I was to give it a score uh, for like a final score like I do with my other products, like when I want to do protein reviews, this one, this one's getting the A for sure. It, it, how could you not give it an A? As you know, when you look at the ingredients, because we're looking at these ingredients, we're not just saying that they're a solid selection, but where the dosages are coming in at appropriate clinical dosages. Like we're getting six grams, two grams, a gram, half a gram. All of these products are coming in at really solid dosages and even for like the half gram you see for the black ginger because it's an extract it's still equivalent to two grams of the dried herb itself so like how could you how, you can't lose it's a fantastic product it's fantastically made i gotta say ballistic i really gotta give it up to you guys you crushed it with this one honestly i think this one's gonna be a solid part of my pre-workout routine and and product lineup for the foreseeable future until someone can bring me something better or if someone can really get me a cheap line on just glycerol that might change my mind but again i digress this product fantastic easy a love it you guys did a great job here ballistic so now that we've reached the end uh, of course if you've got any questions comments uh, anything you'd like to say about this product if you've used it before and you like it i'd love to hear your stories about it throw that into the comment section below the video uh, of course like i mentioned i'm gonna have all my references for uh, the various studies about the the different ingredients inside this product in the description below the video bert would have loved to get the the actual paper that you had uh, i don't know if it's different than the one i found but hey bert if you're watching this look at the research let me know if it's the same paper if it is cool if it's not i'm still down to see it so link it my way i want to read it i'm i'm looking for knowledge man hook me up uh anyhow uh so the research will be in the description below the video uh and of course like comments you know i want to engage with you guys it really helps with the youtube algorithm and we want to spread this as much as humanly possible which like i've always say is evidence-based fitness content in the world and social media in general could use so much more of this so let's spread this help me out do what you can send it to your friends share it with your friends you know it's it's hugely important it's wildly helpful and i love you guys for doing it and of course like i always say stay shining because the galaxy can only be a bright and beautiful place. We all shine together. Peace.